<coughs> sorry. Hi there. Um, welcome to City Skylines for Beginners. This is tutorial number 26. Um, I want to show you how to, first off, go into options and turn the day and night off. There's a way to do that. You go to option. I'll back that up. One, two, three, four, five, six from the top is options. Click on it. Go to Gameplay, which is the second choice down. Click on that. Down in Gameplay, at the bottom, you'll see a, a thing that says Use Day Slash Night Cycle, and it'll probably be lit up. Click it so it isn't. Now, what that's going to do is, and uh, what that's going to do is, and then turn it off. I mean, just click the X at the top. <coughs> What that's going to do is make it so that it doesn't keep going into nighttime while you're working on your game. If you want it to go into the night, then you don't need to do that. But I just thought I'd show that to you. Okay, go to Load Game. Load your tutorial, whatever you've named it. That's on the left side. Hit Load. Wait for this hint screen to finish giving you hints. Once you're in your game, Scroll back so you can see where you are. Twist it around and move with the A key over to your ports. There we go. I just love watching these ships come in. This is so much fun. They actually come in and sidle up to the port. I, I, just, I just love that. Okay. Here we go. Now, uh, what... In the last tutorial, in 25, you'll remember that we went in and we did the office zoning, which is all along here now, and they've populated. And because they've populated, I should set this up to high. Watch the ship come in. This is so neat. It literally sidles over to the port and then leaves. And I don't know if they really do that. In ports, I've never been to a port, but I have to assume that they do. And I just think it's nifty. Okay, um, if you go down to the fourth icon over from the left and click on electricity, you can see that the electricity has followed our uh, offices out, and we're now connected with this area where we can put in our residential area. So, clicking it sideways like this, so I can see what I've got. I'm going to put in small houses. That's the low density, not the high density, which is big apartment buildings. We just want small houses, and probably just two is good to start. Um, and that should bring it out to here, and then we can go from there. We don't have very much residential. I don't know if you can even see down here on this bar graph at the bottom. You can see the blue column, which is for commercial, and the orange column, which is for industry and offices. Um, I don't know if you can see the residential, but it's uh, just a, like a teeny tiny little green bar telling us that it, it's willing to give us a little residential. So hopefully we'll get some here. Okay, I want to check also to make certain that our, uh, I don't remember where I put our water. Oh, all the way out. So we're good there. Okay, so we're going to go over now and we're going to create a forestry area because industry, which is this orange bar down here at the bottom, um, industry can be regular industry like we put out in here earlier, all of that. Or it can be forestry, which we are going to put in here. Or it can be farming, which in this tutorial or the next one we will put down in here. Um, so right now we're going to do our forestry area. Uh, because I forgot to put that little uh, jump from one side of the freeway to the other in the middle between these two big pieces. I'm going to stick it in here now. We'll go down to roads, over to the freeway tab, fourth over. Click on the freeway, come in close so we can see what we're doing. And just pop one in here. And pop one in over here. And we all know how to do that because of the previous tutorials. And we all know it so that people can 
come in here and go through this way or if they're coming from here they can get over to this other side and the reason they want to get to the other side is going to be because I am going to put a road in here for our forestry department oh goodness let's try that again I don't know why it's doing that Okay, we have a straight one here. I don't want that. <laughs> I so don't want that. Okay. Oh, I see. It's a freeway still. Okay, we need to go back over here to our pretty little road that we've been using for everything. And yeah, that goes in straight. And pull that all the way out to here. And then down. I'm just going to make one road going all the way around for the forestry department. I say department, I really mean industry. Forestry industry. And maybe one more. We'll just come out this far. And then we're going to head for the freeway here. Am I in the right place? No, I want to start here and go in and then go across because I want to be in between these two pieces again, just the same pieces that we had on the other side so people can get in and out easily. Okay, so we'll take that part out. Okay, now before I put any zoning in, I need to make a district so that I can tell it that I want it to do forestry and not regular industry like we have over here uh, you don't have to make a zone or a district for regular industry it just is but if you want to turn your regular industry into a forestry or farming area you have to tell it that so we're going to start by making our zone we know how to do that from remember we did that earlier to our um, residential zone and so we're going to continue to do it here as quickly as possible because I'm already at seven minutes, seven and a half minutes. And I want to make certain that I get this done as quickly as possible so that we can get all of this in. Okay. Now, right now, this one is going to be still industrial. I have to tell it that I want tell it the city that I want this to be for forestry. To do that, I go down to these two tabs and I click on the one that says industrial specialization. Now there are a lot of specializations here. There's one for forestry, one for farming, uh, two three that I never use for ore. <clears throat> oil or generic uh, and, and you folks can use that if you like to do that kind of thing that's a whole nother type of city planning <clears throat> that I don't get into because I don't do it at least not now um, it, it's not need it isn't needed and it's just way too polluting so we're gonna start with forest industry make certain that's clicked and then we go up here and you click only one time if you click once I don't, you can't see it probably, but if you click once, you will have uh, a green uh, set of trees right here next to the word Mulberry Square. If you click a second time, it goes away. So click it on. Make sure you've got it. And I don't. Okay, I do. The tree just, it's hard to see it in this. But if you click on the name of the uh, district and then take a look at your specialization box, uh, it'll say underneath the name of your district, it'll say specializations. And if you have a specialization, you can click there and it'll tell you. And it says forestry. So we have it. Um, it's really hard to see on this. 
So once you have that set as specialization forestry, now we can go in and grab industrial and put industrial in. And we'll just put it in, in these two places. The reason we're not going to put it any further, I'm going to put the map on pause for a reason you will want to do the same, is because I have to run water and electricity over to this area for it to start without having everything demanding something that it doesn't have yet. So we have, if I go down here to the electric icon, we have electricity here in the other industrial area. So we're just going to grab one there and pull it across. Oops, I'm trying to stay inside the city limits here. And down. Okay. Then if we turn this on, you'll see that this turns blue and we have electricity in there. And the few places that have already started to create have, uh, if you can, if I can get you down far enough so you can see it, they have electricity, but they don't have water. So we have to go to the water source down here, the water icon. Get get into a water pipe that we already have. And there we have one. Click on it and bring our water over so that everybody is getting water. And we can go ahead and throw water through this whole thing. Just follow it along on all of our roads. The reason I like to do it this way is because later on I'll want to extend this. And if I haven't already put the water pipes in, I might forget that I didn't. And then, of course, I'm going to uh, wind up with people demanding water and I have to go fix it. I might as well do it now. Although we are at 12. So I'll do that later. I'm just going to fill this whole thing in with water later. I won't do it now during the tutorial because I'm trying to show you something. Okay, so the water will say it's in. And where we have put industry, instead of being a fish factory, a box factory, whatever, it is now uh, planks for life, pellet fuels, forestry friends limited, growing trees, uh, Woody's Wood growing trees, Lumber Company, uh, Forestry Friends, and these are little trees in Woody's Wood and Forestry Friends. Okay, see if there's anybody else, Lumber Company. You can click on it and see that it's all forest-related industry now. And forest-related industry does not pollute. So, you know, people could even live in here if you if you wanted to use that space for that purpose. Okay. We are at 13 minutes now. We'll just <clears throat> let that go ahead and do its thing. And we'll come back here and see how our housing is going. We're getting a little tiny bit. Okay, we have a few houses here. We've got... Um, there we go. There we go. We have got... The Briar Rose Residence, Robin Residence, Crescent Residence, Belmont Residence. So this is a big one. Umber Residence. And across from them we have our businesses, which are not readable. <laughs> uh, the Top Bank. Uh, Financial News, Happy Face Travel Agency, Trident. So, you know, we've got a lot going on here. So we can go ahead and put in some more residential. We've got some growing here already. Electricity is out this far, so we can put some um, residential up in here. I'm going to click on the little ones for the small houses again and maybe put some here. And... 
We don't, we're at 14, almost 15 minutes already, so we don't have time to watch it happen, but you can watch it happen on your map when you put yours in. And I will see you again in tutorial number 27 when we will do farming and um, maybe some other things. Maybe we'll stretch our, our residential all the way across and then we'll put commercial out here which we want to do. We want to run commercial all along this area and hook it up out here and then run it back out as far as, well, we'll hook it up here, I guess, and then run it back out as far as we can until we hit the city limits because that way we have uh, businesses for the people who come to play at the beach to go to. And we'll get a lot of stuff that's residential like supermarkets and drugstores, but we'll also get a couple of restaurants, I'm sure. Okay, so that's it for tutorial number 26. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in tutorial number 27. Thank you. Bye.